Hey, you. What's up, you? What's going on? You serious today? You very serious today? You're all, all serious, all serious, and all seriousness, no play, huh? My, my dog's chasing a butterfly. No, Luna, leave the butterfly alone, baby. Come on, it's just a butterfly. So one, one thing I'm going to say to you guys, please, if you have a dog, please, I am begging you, take your dog for a walk at least once a day. Just do it. Yesterday, my dog was so stressed out because I didn't take her out. She ran out the door and almost ran away from me. I had to get in my car and act like I was going somewhere. And she jumped in. Thank God I live in a non-busy street. But I almost had a heart attack when she did that. But please take your dogs out for a walk. Okay. So the spirit wants a message put out here today. And this message is for... Come on, baby. For those of you who have been, like, way too serious. How you doing? How you doing? So, this message is for those of you who've been home every day being serious as hell, just mad serious. You gotta chill. You gotta chill. You've been way too serious for way too long, and Spirit wants you to, like, go out and have a good time this weekend, maybe. Go enjoy yourself. Be free. Be free. Be young. Be fun. Uh, I'm hearing just because you got a little bit... Um, some of you, maybe you're not feeling well, your body, because I know, listen, I've been tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. When a full moon's coming up, you're not depressed. It's the fucking full moon. Remember that, okay? You are not depressed. It is the fucking full moon cycle. So when it's like full moon time, us empaths and shit, we be getting all uh, drained and tired and annoyed and shit like that. And a lot of people are feeling frustrated right now with the energy because just yesterday, you know, um, I watched a video on accident. Once again, Spirit was like, you know, I'm like, why am I feeling this way? And then Spirit showed me some astrologer. She was like, you know, people are uh, high tension, irritated right now. And, you know, you, you can see what's going on with the wars or whatever they were saying. That's something like that, you know, that it's uh, people are, are tense right now. But I'm going to tell you something. I've been sick to my stomach. Well, you have a lot going on, Minnie. You have a lot going on. So that's different. But I will tell you something. I think that we need to go out this weekend. I know that sounds... Um, See, for me, it's like, the you know, when people are, like, upset and they're not having a good time in life right now. For me, what is my, uh, thing? go out and laugh a little bit. Like, maybe go, go to a comedy club. Go, you know, go watch a funny movie. Go watch a scary movie. And just have fun and, like, you know, let your, um, because, you know, when you're angry and you're stressed out, what we need is, like, something that, like, gets our, like, our emotions going. So either something scary ooh, or something funny or something something like that. I don't even know the date today. I don't keep up with the date. I don't I don't do times. I don't do dates. I really don't. So come on baby, not there. Luna come sniff anywhere else but there. Please caca caca. Come on baby. Come on. I know mama. I know I know. You know, um dogs love to sniff around and I just be standing here letting her sniff for as long as she wants. Whatever you want. Just sniff. Go ahead. <laughs> it's like what are you sniffing? It doesn't matter. They just be sniffing and sniffing and they just love it. And that's just like their, that's their sensory motion. I know that because my brother's dog, when I take her to walk, she just wants to sniff things. <laughs> she don't even want to walk. She's just like wants to sniff things out. And that's okay by me. And again, those of you who are here in this live, I'm going to tell you something. If you're picking up this message, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I wake up sometimes like feeling like a truck hit me, my whole body. I'm telling you this for a reason because you might be going through the same thing. I wake up feeling like a truck hit my body, but you know what I do? Like, I give my body a little time to catch up and I'm like, okay, remember you were just astral traveling. You were just dreaming, all this shit. Look at my nails, aren't they pretty? Uh, my, my daughter says they're ugly, but I love them. I feel like they look like fall. They look like the fall. Look, right? See, look. See what I'm saying? Ha ha, look at that. Yes, tree, we're matching, baby. So, um... Yo, listen, I'm going to tell you something. And I'll be waking up feeling like shit too, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. And and I, I, I give my body a little time, but I'm, this is my message to you today. And I'm not even here talking as a messenger. I'm just telling you guys as your friend, as your whatever the fuck I am to you. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop being so fucking serious all the time. I have been with these. I had a stick up my ass for this past year. So how, the, the stick's been so far up my ass that 
I, I couldn't like, you know, like I couldn't pull it out because it hurt so bad. It was so tight and it, up my ass. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I think they look very pretty and simple, which is what I like my nails to look like. And I have fat hands. Don't forget, like girls with big hands, we, we struggle trying to like, you know, those girls with skinny hands, like bitch, fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't make me knock you out with my big ass hands. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. But I'm not. <laughs> so I've been listening to Eminem all morning. So I'm at the Marshall Mathers LP. I've been amping myself up with Eminem all morning. So <clears throat> I like to put on like 90s music and shit like that. Like, you know, DMX, uh, uh, 50 Cent, Eminem, <clears throat> The Game and all that. You know, then I like to do my Nas and all that stuff. I like to listen to my, um, uh, sometimes I feel like gotta get away. You know, songs like that that make me, that remind me of the time when I was young. And I just, I was always, all I was doing was having fun. I worked hard. I always made money. I always had jobs and shit, but I had fun. Like I... I would take the money that I made, the two, three hundred I made a week working in a deli, and I would go spend it all on the weekend and didn't give a shit. I would go to the mall and buy myself $80 shirts, like there's not a care in the world. I remember going one time, I had like $600 on me, I went to the jewelry store and spent it all on those, remember those XO chains that we used to wear, you know what I'm saying, those XO chains back in the day? And I'm bringing you back to the memories for some of you, whatever, even if it's not, you're not from that era, I'm bringing you back to those memories because you need to relax, like you, it's a lot going on for you You got a lot of shit going on i'm hearing you really are out here you got too much going on i'm hearing that very strongly for some of you this is just too much going on you know what i'm saying but i'm noticing something and i've noticed that the past like few weeks i've been starting to release let go a little bit and calm the fuck down you know what helps us not be drained by the full moon so for me the things that help me not be drained by the full moon number one go outside okay i you see as you see when i'm live Yesterday was the only day I didn't take her out because I couldn't find this. I couldn't find this thing and I can't walk her on a small leash because she's like restricted and she she wants to just run and be free, you know? Please go take your dog out for a walk today if you have a dog. Please, a long, nice walk. Just go out. Walk around, please. I wish you guys lived closer. I would really tell you all, let's get together and go walk far away. Walk. We could walk. We could talk. We could all bring our dogs. They could play. You know, but I just don't know where the fuck everybody's at and, and all that shit because I'm willing to drive. There's a lot of people ain't willing to do the work, and that's what the problem is. You know, I can't be the only one being like, I'll pick you up, I'll come to you. You know, but the people that I chill with, they're willing to meet me hours, you know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it goes. We Sometimes you got to make a trip, you know what I'm saying? So, again, listen, okay, now, the whole thing about the having fun thing is that this is, I'm serious about this. I want to rent an Airbnb. Yes, it's going to be a healing uh, thing, but it's mostly for us to just get away for an, a day or two. So I'm thinking if we do get away, I want it to be for two nights. Now, if you're in the New York, New Jersey, um, even Pennsylvania, I don't give a shit where you are. If you can make it to like upstate New York by Bear Mountain Park, this area around here, Luna, be careful. There's snakes in there. If you're in the Bear Mountain, upstate New York area close to it, you're upstate New York. Okay. Then you need to comment below. I'm close, Flo. When when are we going? So what I want to do is like before it gets cold be, by November. And I'm being dead serious about this. I do it every year. So this ain't my first year. It ain't my first rodeo. Anybody who comes, we already know. Okay, and this is a message, right? You work by me, good. So let's go. Cause I'm so I'm gonna do it by November. So this way you have time to save money, right? Cause you know we all need a little time to like put fifty away, fifty away, fifty. Away. It's going to be like 300 a person. The reason why is because I want to get it for two nights. I'm not, I'm not making sure no money's coming out of my pocket. Here's the thing. We're going to be fasting. We're going to be fasting. So I, you know, unless you have like a medical condition that, that prevents you from fasting, then other than that, we're, we're going to be fasting. So we're not going to be spending money on food because we're fasting and I'm not doing that intentionally. I'm doing it because some of us need to do a two day cleanse real bad. And when I say two day cleanse, I'm talking about from everything, from weed, from cigarettes, from everything. I'm going to try not to smoke while I'm there. I'm maybe wear a patch or some shit. It's going to be a two day cleanse. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to plan for next year. If you do it annually, I do, I do it annually. But like I said, I'm going to do it in the middle of November before it starts getting freezing. And I'm gonna make sure that people have time to put 50 away this week on their paychecks. So start putting that money away. If you got change of a hundred, put that shit away for this event. Okay. Because it's probably going to be like 250, 300 because it's going to be a two night special. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, mama. Let's go over there and look. Let's go over there and sniff. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. Sniff. See, I just let her just enjoy herself. That's what she wants to do. If she wants to sniff, 
Sniff, a, sniff away, baby girl. Sniff away. I'm telling you. They're like crackheads looking for crack dogs. <laughs> I swear to God. And I can't. I'm, she's making me walk all the way around people's property. No, mama. Come on. I think that's I think that's not good. No. It looks like a weed plant, though. Come on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Move your ass this way. Come on, little stinky. This is my baby. I'll do anything for her. My daughter gets jealous because I show her attention. She gets so jealous. Cancers are jealous, people. Oh my god. I hate this dog. Fuck the dog, she'll tell me because she gets mad. <laughs> but um, you know, she loves her so much. Um, anyway, um, so I want to do that. And the reason why I'm telling you this is not just to tell you, I'm doing this like 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 the, I'm telling you right now, guys. Oh, sometimes we just gotta get away. We gotta have a little fun, man. We're being way too serious. Spiritual people, what happens with us is we start to get in our heads about everything like like we start to feeling a way about sex about even doing drugs and even hanging out with people i mean you not i'm not saying that i think that's good but i'm saying you know let's say you smoke a lot of weed or whatever you pop a molly once a year or whatever you know what i'm saying i don't know what you do my point is <clears throat> we get too crazy about it sex we start thinking crazy like i honestly know that this is the truth like there's been, you know, a really good guy that I actually like and I'm friends with and, and we have like great sex and we had great sex when I met up with him. We had a good time. We talked all night. We did, you know, played with the music together. We like rapped to each other. It was cute. And <clears throat> then we had good sex, you know, uh, he ate me out for a while. I was like, it was, it was great. <laughs> it was great. You know what I'm saying? But, and like every time he texts me to chill, I'm like, no, but it's not because that he's, he's a bad person. It's just that you start getting in your head, like about like especially with me because i'm like connected to spirit so hard that's that i'm like what if i go there and what if we drink and what if i spirit is watching and what if i you know it's weird because I, like we gotta have fun you know what i'm saying i'm just being candid with you guys it's like because all i know how to do is be candid i can't i don't know how to like not be candid and it's like weird but it's just the way i am you know it's, if you're gonna be friends with me or you're gonna know me you just have to know that i'm very awkward and I like awkward people because we're awkward together. We're both like, you know what I'm saying? Like weirdos. But I like it. You know, even during sex, I'm awkward. It's just it's just how I roll. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot. You know, I have a lot on my mind. So I have to really be around people. Maybe this is a message, right? We have to be around people that accept us for who we are. Let's say you are in the bedroom with a man. And, you know, you start getting nervous and start, oh, I, I feel bad. I don't know if I should do it. And then he t starts talking. You go, not instead of him being like, Come on, man. You, why are you playing? No, he should be like, it's okay. Listen, if you're feeling like that, take a moment. Just think about what you want to do. If you don't want to do this, we we could sit, we could talk. That's why you got to find people like that in your life. Because if you find people that, that are going to force you to do shit, now you just got raped without even knowing it. You know what I'm saying? We don't need that shit, right? You know what I'm saying? We don't need that shit. What we need is somebody to be like, are you uncomfortable? Like, you know, oh, my, I don't want you to look at my stomach. Stop. My, my boob, my, you know, I feel weird. If they don't accept that you are awkward like that, then they can't, they shouldn't be fucking you, first of all. Because I'm going to tell you something. I've been with people and hung out with them, girls, especially women when I've dated women, and they get really awkward and uncomfortable. And guess what I've done with them? I've stood for hours, just let them get comfortable, you know, ask them, what do, they, what do you need? You want, all right, relax. You want me to put the TV on or off? How do you like it? Uh, I guess put it on and I'm like, you know, this is not, we don't have to do this. And they'd be like, no, but I really want to. I'm just getting nervous. You know what I mean? And like, especially like I'll go to like eat the mouse shit and they'll be like, I'm scared. And I'm like, yeah, me too, bitch. I'm fucking eat pussy all day. This is my second pussy I'm eating. You know what I mean? Relax. I'm just as scared as you. Same thing with a guy. I'm not going to force myself on people. People are weird like that. Like you can't be fucking weirdo in the sex bedroom. You know what I'm saying? In sex bedroom, you can't be weirdo. I be talking like English, like a foreigner. You can't be weird like sex bedroom. You know, you have to be a calm person when you have sex bedroom. You know what I'm saying? This is people are just weird. So I'm finding that the older I get, you know, I feel more comfortable with myself, with my body. Because at the end of the day, like I'm, I am who I am. My body is what it is right now, and I love it the way it is. So I'm not gonna be around people that can't accept. That I work on myself, but I'm also not a gym fanatic. I'm not a person who goes and lifts weights and stuff like that. That shit hurts. Like, my back hurts. You know what I'm saying? So I'm one of those people, like, I want to walk around. I want to go in nature and stuff like that. And I'm going to find somebody who's like that. And they have to understand that I'm working on myself. But if I'm a little heavy at some point, you can't be like, you're fat. No, I'm not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just want you to understand that you need to calm down. So what my point is to you with this message is that instead of 
being so nervous and tense, how about try to find people that accept you for who you are? The problem is not that there's anything wrong with us, is that we're not finding people to accept us for exactly who we are. And so we are judging ourselves based off that. Fuck what they think. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. Honestly, at the end of the day, I am going to be the person I am. I've worked extremely hard just to become this person. You think it's easy for me to have gotten to this point? No, it's not. It's not easy. Hello. All these hot guys over here working on the houses and shit, they all got jobs. You know what I'm saying? All these construction workers up here where I live, they all got them, you know, union money. It's really nice. Um, you know, and they all work really hard, you know. So I like guys like that that work hard because I, I give good massages, make them feel good when he comes home, you know. Give him some head. First, I'll make him shower and wash his balls, though. You know? but babe, can you wash your balls real quick? I'll, I'll give you some head. You know, sometimes you don't want to have sex. And, eh, just give him a blowjob. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm, I'm a very sexual person, but also I'm not a person who likes to have sex with random people. I only did that shit when I was on drugs, you know? Like, when I mean when I did drugs. I wasn't all, like no crackhead and shit. But I did drugs heavily. <laughs> a lot of it. So, you know? And listen, I'm going to tell you right now. Spirit wants you to really understand something right now in your life. You're going through a transition. You're going through... You're finding your... You're finding your way through this thing called life. You know what I'm saying? I did before. I saw two Spanish guys. Domin Dominicans. Dominicans. Because I... I like Dominican guys to have sex with them. Otherwise, they're fucking horny bastards and they, they will fuck. They like girls a lot. And I'm not into a person. I don't like a man who likes every girl. You know, he has to be like me, a little picky, but, you know, not stuck up picky. You know what I'm saying? But more like, you know, he's not he's not just going to eat out any bitch he sees. Yeah, I question a guy if he just eats, wants to eat me out the first time we're hanging out. I'll be like, you do this shit all the time? I am the guy in that situation. I'll be like, how many times a week you do this shit? And they'll be like, what do you mean? I'll be like, you, what, you just just meet a girl? You just eat her out first night? <laughs> no, because it's you. Because it's me. What the fuck? What do you mean because it's me? I know you. I know you clean. I know. How the fuck do you know that? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck you mean? I mean, don't get it twisted. I could, I could tell, too. I'm not stupid. But don't give me that, none of that bullshit because I will read right through your ass. No, no, caca. That's, oh, shit. That's getting shit at me. Caca. That's caca. That's dirty, Luna. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's, uh. That's a Virgo thing. I don't I don't just let just anybody. Nah, you know what I'm talking about, right? I think it's, the older I get, the easier it gets. It's so hard. I'm so hard on myself. That's why I'm giving this like light message. I'm not even, it's not even about message. I'm just vibing with you guys, to be honest with you. And let me tell you something. I'm starting a podcast before the end of November. I'm starting a podcast and I really want you guys to interact with it. Like get on there, be a guest on it because I'm going to tell you right now, your story will help somebody heal so if you get on my podcast i'm i don't know if can you guys give me an opinion an advice should i do a podcast like on camera or should i just do a voice i like on camera i'm just gonna give you my opinion i like on camera strictly because i feel like people like visuals because i do i like visuals i'm not a person who could sit there and listen to a podcast without seeing your face i have to see the person you know i'm not a fan of it i just i just never been you know so, like, I have to listen to the person and I have to see their face almost like to connect the dots with the energy, you know? So, on camera, yeah. That's what I want to do. But, you know, so if I have guests on it, they don't have... This fucking cop. If I have guests on it, um, they don't have to be on camera. They could just be, they could just be, you know, the voice and then uh, they can call in. So, I'm going to have to get, like, a line where they can call in, ask a question. I really want to do that because I feel like I could help a lot of people that way. So, yesterday I was communicating with Spirit and I was asking Spirit... Yeah, yeah, video, yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you could, like, put the audio up, too, right? I love your vibe, too, thank you. You know what I was thinking? Because, listen, um, um, I was thinking yesterday, I was talking to Spirit, and I'm like, listen, I love doing private readings. Listen, I love doing them because it's amazing, especially, like, when I get a person who really is ready to heal, which is why I only do private readings for people who, rec who request it because... If I just start doing it for anybody, I'm just going to be draining my force field. And it needs to be for people that really want to heal. You know what I'm saying? Which is why my prices are not cheap. Because first of all, I'm amazing. I'm incredible. Not amazing. I'm an incredible reader. Incre incredible. You know, like I do past lives, Reiki healing. I remove entities for people that come to me. Stuff like that. But one thing I want to say, I keep telling Spirit. What can I do to get like a groups, groups of people and help heal them? Because one-on-one -on -one is too expensive. A lot of people can't afford it. Number two, I'm only getting to one person at a time. 
one person at a time, which is okay because I'm going to open up my retreat. I'm going to do one person at a time whenever somebody wants it, right? A little session. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. You are so beautiful, mommy. She's so cute. Oh, you just make beautiful babies. Okay. I see. I see you, girl. You know, so like one-on-one is just... I'm not getting to you guys all, and I hate that. I want to get to all you guys, and my purpose is a condition that that is hard because it's like I'm one person, which is why I'm creating the rest of you guys to be able to do what I do. My goal is with spirit that I've talked to them for a long time is saying, I want to create more me's. You know, not not more. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? It's not an ego thing. Please don't get it twisted. I want to create more me's, as in. <clears throat> the air is so dry. Is it just me or is the air very dry? <clears throat> it's very dry. I want to create more me so that you guys can go out there and help people, you know? <clears throat> like, I want to do, um, I want to do a, uh, excuse me, like a, an event where you guys come and you sit for an hour or two with me. And then when you leave, you're like, I can do this too. And I just start creating more healers and light workers. You know what I mean? Yeah, because a, a, a real leader creates more leaders. I don't want you to follow me. Clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys. Yesterday I was meditating, and this is you know I'm gonna tell you what my my guides. Let me tell you the, the conversation I had with my guides last night because. Yeah, I love talking to you guys. You guys are my friends. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you say. You're my friends. You're not my fucking followers or fans. If you ever say that to me, you're my idol. I'm your fan. I will smack you, straight up and down. Don't call me that. I'm not. You're, I'm not your fan. You're not my fan. I'm not. I'm not here to like blow on you. Or you're not here to blow on me. You know? No, I'm not. I'm not your queen. I'm not your idol. I'm. I'm you. I'm you. I'm a version of you, and that's it. And that's what makes me the best. Cause I'm very natural and humble with people. But I was talking to my guys last night, right? Thank you. I love you. Um, I was talking to, to my guys last night. And one of the things they told me that I should do is have like group readings. You know how Teresa, like the medium, does it? Except for it's different. I'm not going to be doing what she's doing. I, when, when I consider myself a medium, I'm not like a medium who talks to dead people. It's not like that. I'm not here to tell you, John, you know, he's... Talk about the chain. Talk about the necklace. I'm not doing all that. I'm here to talk about you. So, Spirit, when we connect to past on loved ones, they will confirm it's me, say a date, say a color, boom, boom, boom. And then they talk about you because this is about you and your healing. They already transitioned. Death is a transitional period. It is a rebirth for them. And they don't need healing. If they are where they are in death, that's where they are wanted to be. Trust me when I tell you they had many options to go here, there, or left left or right right so understand that and, and the only way you're gonna help spirit is by by healing yourself i mean a spirit has told me a million times the only way you're gonna heal any spirit just heal yourself just work on yourself because when you work on yourself whatever spirits attached to you or around you they instantly do they instantly do healing too that's what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna do these things where i help people unlock their gifts so i'm thinking about doing like a 40 dollar is that too much? I don't think that's a lot. I'm asking you, I need feedback. A $40 group thing where you guys come on Zoom. You come on Zoom with me. And then what I'm going to do is, look, and the wind started picking up when I said that. And then what I'm going to do is, like, when we're on Zoom, I will have you guys, like, um, you know, I will tap into spirit. I'll channel messages. I'll channel messages. And, I'll, you know, of course, if somebody's dad or somebody's dad or aunt or mom wants to come through, I will give you messages from that specific person, but it's mostly from spirit to give everybody like, like their purpose and what they should be doing and how they can do it or whatever, you know, cause that's what we need. We need advice on how to do it. Cause we know what we want to do most of us, but most of us don't know what we want to do. So it's like, you know, in between. So I think, okay, good. So I think that $40 is a fair price. Okay. I will tell you about the Zoom thing. Hi, Rennie. I'm thinking about coming to Staten Island this weekend. I'm not sure. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Um, I'm thinking about the Zoom thingy, number one. Number two, I'm doing... And this time when I do this retreat thing, the Airbnb thing, I do want men and female there. So if you're not comfortable with that, then I'll understand. But if anybody tries hooking up and all that, I'm not going to be happy because I'm not having a sex party. It's a, it's a, it's a retreat thing. A long time ago brought these girls from angel squad when the beginning of when i started it we went to a party my party that i rented the airbnb and it told everybody you know listen we're friends here i, I don't want anybody hooking up because it ruins everything like people you hook up and then unless you're gonna marry each other then it's a whole different story 
which is very rare, right? Um, but please don't start hooking up with the dudes that are at my events and shit because then they're going to think that they could, this is what this is about. I'm not here to... to and that sounds weird. Like, oh, like all right, don't be such a killjoy, Flo. Calling me. Clear, clear. Clear it? Clear it? Okay. Come on, baby. Ah, ah, caca. I will get you pussy outside of my events, okay? No orgies there. You guys want to have a sex party? Let me know. I'll throw that shit, bitch. Shit, I'm motherfucking. I'll fucking light the candles. I'll hold the strawberries for you. I'll smack his balls while you lick his clip. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll smack his balls while you lick his clip. I don't care. I ain't ashamed of my game. I'm a freaky bitch. <laughs> freaky bitch. Bitches, we hate you at, but we're like, you know, quiet freaky, not like everybody fuck me freaky. That's not well, no, you know, but anyway, uh, I always got to take it to the balls part, right? But I'm telling you, like, this is where I, I'm at in my life, and this is where spirit wants you to be at. Be who the fuck you are. And fuck that. Fuck what anybody thinks about you. Fuck that. You don't own me, buddy. Like, you don't know what I've been through to get here comfortable in my own skin. I've been through. Years of, of trauma, years of fucking hating myself, years of trying to find out who I am, and I'm here, and you know what's funny? And when I'm driving in the car today, I was driving in the car, and I was like, no, I'm saying I'm listening to Eminem, Marshall Mathers L L LP, you know, I have to listen to that when I want to amp myself up. You turn me on. I, yeah, I'm, I can do that. I'm a very good person to turn somebody on. I always said I'm Viagra for men. If your dick can't get up, it's going to get up today, baby. You know what I'm saying? I got you. It's not that I'm sexy. Don't get it. It's not, oh, I'm sexy. I'm going to wear lingerie. It's not that. I will fuck your mind. And your mind will get fucking hard. And then the rest of you is just going to come so easily. Because it's all about the mind. You got to get in somebody's mind first before you can get in their pants. Anybody can get in anybody's pants. If you go fuck my mind first, you winning. Okay? Because my mind is very complex. My spirit guys tell me all the time. If you could see your mind outside of yourself the way we see it, you'd be like, like they sit, the spirit guides are sitting there, E equals MCs. What the fuck is, this girl's brain is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. No, no. I, I know. I'm beautiful. I know that. Well, you know what I mean. It's, when I say it's not about because I'm sexy and all that. I'm, listen, I'm big, guys. I'm 217 pounds. I'm not going to, don't forget, don't forget. My boobs alone probably weigh about 12 pounds, but, so I'm 200 and like, two pounds 200 no i'm lying i'm 200 and like seven 210 pounds let's say right because i'll give the rest to my boobs my boobs are fucking huge my mom my mom told me she thinks they weigh as much as a, a eight pound baby that's what she said i said I don't, I don't think so but that's what she says and she's good at shit like that like weighing things and all that because she's a pisces and she's really good at math um and stuff like that so anyway um what I'm saying is, it's not about sexy. It's not about my body. It's not about that. Your body could be like whatever the fuck. It could be the hottest body ever. But your brain is boring. Like your brain, like I could see the hottest girl walk in, the hottest guy. Oh my God. But then he starts talking and there's n literally nothing behind. Nothing. It's just like, it's like I'm hearing wah, 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 wah. No. I've had dudes that were, that women were like, why do you like him? He's ugly. Like I've had people say that to me. And I'll be like, you obviously look at things, you don't see past what somebody looks like, right? So I see, I hear, feel, sense things within people, and I see power in people that don't see it in themselves. And that's one of my faults, too, because I'll meet a person and they might not, that's I'm, this is a message, some of you do the same thing. And you got to be careful with that, because as much as it's nice to be, you know, to help people feel powerful, you got to pick and choose who you do that with because some people will get powerful and then start acting bougie on you. And it's like, bitch, the fuck? You ever had that one person? Like, bitch, I made you. And then they just, they go and they're like, fuck you then, you know? And it's like, but you made them. Like, they started off as nobody. And then you came in the picture. And because of you, they're now like fucking, you know what I'm saying? You can't make people or break them. You really can. And I've made a, a couple of men. I made a couple of them and they, you know, they went off and did they thing. And that's okay. I'm happy about that because, I, you know, it was my job. <laughs> You're welcome, bitch. <laughs> You're welcome, girl. Who is next? You know what I'm saying? How many of you have made a man, a man or a woman better for the next person? Raise your hand. And I'm sure many of you will raise your motherfucking hand and say, I, yeah, because you have, 
you know? So, like, listen, we got that ability to see power in people that don't see it in themselves. But today, even though I see that, I know I pick and choose cautiously who I give those words to because... I don't want, you know, some the wrong person getting my getting my gift and information in their hands and then all of a sudden now they acting like they're fucking the goddess or the god of the world. Bella I'm really, 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 really I'm so serious. I'm I'm I've already started talking to my guides about going to to visit you out there. You know where, I'm not gonna say where. I have a couple of people that moved to like Vegas, Florida, and they were like, Oh, come through. I'm like, I will. I am I'm 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 planning on it. My love, I love you, Bella. Me and Bella have been through a lot of things. Oh, my fucking God, is Bella. A lot of things. She knows me a lot more than a lot of people know. She's seen the, the, the broken side of flow, and she's seen the heel side of flow. And she loved each... She loved both of them, honestly. And, you know, she always kept it very real with me. And no matter what, people used to say to me, Oh, she... Why are you hanging out with her? She don't like you. I'm like, it don't matter. I'm like, we, nobody always likes each other. You know, she knows people used to say, like, don't hang out with each other and shit. But I don't listen to people, and you shouldn't listen to people, because I'm going to tell you something. It sometimes be the people that everybody thinks is the most fakest and doesn't give a shit that actually does care about you the most. And they're on the low. They just want you to do better. You know what I'm saying? So they just, they get mad when you don't, and they look at you like you're stupid because they know you could do better. You know those people? You know? For real, I know. I know. Neither do I. <laughs> you already know. Oh, man. That's my favorite story to tell that one time in band camp. <laughs> That one time in band camp, how I met her. She met me making out with a brother and sister separately, of course. I kissed the boy. He went back in, and then a girl came out. I made out with her. She was like, Flo? I was like, hey. She was like, who are those two? I'm like, oh, they're brother and sister. Uh, he doesn't know I'm fucking her, but she knows I'm fucking him. <laughs> I was like, you know what I'm saying? That's how she met me. <laughs> we became friends and have stayed friends since that day. <laughs> I fake needed a cigarette from them. You got a cigarette? Or so or she said, I need a cigarette. And I went down there. And then she left her keys. And that's, it all started from there. And it all went to the ends and the tops of the earth together. It was crazy. We had a great time. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to give you guys some motivation today again. You know, like I'm not... You know, I have my days too, you know, so don't ever think that, oh, she just wakes up like sunshine and rainbows. No, I wake up like motherfucker, but then I have to lay there for a little and just give myself a little time to, um, to gather my body back and bring it back to reality because it was just visiting lots of, uh, places that make no sense, right? So that's how we are. We wake up like that because of that, but and how you can never get rid of me. I can never get rid of her, ever. And I used to get mad and be like, don't fucking talk to me anymore. She be like, all right, Flo, and then like a week later, she be like, so you coming over here? I'm like, yeah, bitch, I'm coming. She's a cancer. My daughter's a cancer. Uh, actually, I've thanks to a lot of friends, I've learned a lot of patience with my daughter. She's very picky, very like, you know. Sometimes she'll do things that seem evil, like my daughter. Like I'll get her and she'll be like, ah, like and she'll laugh and point at me, and I'll be like, you evil fucking bitch. But she's not evil. She just. She really thinks it's funny, you know what I'm saying? So it's not her fault. She's an asshole, you know? Yeah, I love cancers too because they're, they might, listen, they're very picky and very annoying at first, but once you get to know them and, and they know you, now you two can, all right, Luna, you're starting to get thirsty. You need water. Her mouth, she's like, ah, ah. she can't take it. You're too little to be running, baby. Wait, mommy, wait, Luna. Slow down. She don't give a fuck. She's out. And like, Bella is one of the reasons why I got a dog. The way she loved her dog. Oh my God. Denali. I will never forget the way she loved that dog, man. What a fucking beautiful friendship and relationship, you know? God rest his soul. Denali, we love you, son. You know, we love you, my mans. But he's always around her anyway. I always, I always knew that. It's the day. Anyway. Um, so I want you guys to, I'm going to leave you off with this. I love you. Gemini with Virgo. I love Gemini too. My sister's a Gemini. Friends of mine have always been Cancers, Geminis, Scorpios, and Capricorns. We would start off friends, but then like things would get tense. But that's only because we were, it was high school shit, you know what I'm saying? And I was friends with Virgos a lot too, but um, I couldn't really stay friends with them because they were the ones that I knew were very judgmental. And I can't be with people like that because I, I don't judge people. So when someone else does it, I'm, I will let them know. Don't do that. Don't talk about people. Don't call somebody's clothes ugly. Don't call her shirt ugly. Don't, you know, don't 
we don't we don't work like that. Nobody's ugly or fat to me or stupid or none of that. We don't we don't do that shit around here. All right, all right, guys. I love you. Remember, start your day as peaceful and how. Ha- what's wrong? Clear it in the left side. What happened? What? Let's clear the energy. Let's clear it. Clear it and and clear it. Clear it. Some of you need to um, clear something in your in your aura. They gotta go. Uh, belly, Bella, belly, belly. I'm hearing the letter J. Something about East, East, Easter or East. Uh, somebody. I, I'm hearing my dog's name for some reason. Luna. Angel. I'm hearing angel. I'm hearing angel. Somebody's your angel. Come here, mama. Come on. I know you're tired. Come to mommy. Come on. We're going to go inside and get some water, okay? Come to mommy. Come to mommy. <laughs> she be looking so raggedy ass. I swear to God. Look at her. Look at her raggedy ass. So I try to trim her face with the hair and I fucked it up. But it's okay because she's going to get a full trim. She's just a baby. She's just a baby. You need to get some water, okay? Come on. Let's go get some water. All right, guys. I love you, and I will come back later, okay? Love you guys. I'll come back later. Today is a whatever, be free kind of day and do whatever the fuck I want kind of day. So I might, you know, do whatever I want. <laughs> so I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. I know, Bella. She's like, she's just the cutest little munchkie I have ever in my wife ever seen it. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.